So you might be in a situation where for some reason an application that you're downloading or updating on your particular home screen is just saying waiting or maybe it's blacked out and it's not allowing you to open it up. Now this can happen for a lot of different reasons but the number one reason and thing I'd recommend doing is if you're having to go and update the application or it's not downloading or whatever you may just want to double check your internet or Wi-Fi connections. If your Wi-Fi connection is very bad, if your internet connection is, is very bad, that can probably be the number one reason why you're running into this problem. So just double check your Wi-Fi connection and everything like that, and that may end up fixing the problem for you, probably for a vast majority of people. Now, if that's still not working, the other thing you may want to try doing is seeing what's going on with that application. Is it a super big app that's just causing a lot of issues? If it's a very big application, let's say like Discord, for example, I'm updating it, but it, when I update it, it's just like stuck on that little like panel where it's just not you know doing anything. Well, that can probably be a reason why my internet connection is slow. So that might be something I may have to double check is to check that internet connection, making sure it's not slow or bad or anything like that. Now, another thing is if you want to stop an application from updating, and let's say it's just not updating, it's just not doing whatever, you can always hold down on the application on your home screen and you can cancel that update. So if nothing else is working, let's say you're doing that and it's still not working, you can hold down on that particular application just like this, and you can go ahead and cancel that update if you want to. If you are required to update the app, then you can try you know, updating it again. So after canceling it, you can make your way back into your app store, try updating the application again, and that may end up fixing it. I just did this like two days ago and ended up fixing it for me too. If that's still not working, you can try updating your iPhone. So make your way over to your iPhone settings, just like here, you then want to go down into general settings, which is right here, click into software update, and all you're going to want to do here is update your iPhone, and that's another thing you can try doing as well. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hope I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.